I'm Kenton, and this is Kenton Knows. In this video, I'm going to share some of the free magazines that I subscribe to in order to stay aware of real estate trends, new products, technology, and to simply expose myself to other ideas and opportunities. These are all real estate related and completely free to subscribe to if you're involved in real estate. So hopefully you find some of them to be helpful or interesting to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, leave me a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. I simply love real estate and investing, so I find the articles and data in these magazines to be interesting and enjoyable to read. They aren't filled with cheerleading articles saying anyone can do real estate and it's your key to financial freedom due to leverage, depreciation, and having your tenants pay your mortgage. These are real publications written for professionals who buy, manage, and develop real estate on a much larger scale. So there aren't any pep talks. It's real opinions on the economy, real projects, real products, innovations, and the advertisers who are selling their products to these professionals. I believe we can learn a lot from these experts and potentially apply what these larger companies are doing to our smaller rental portfolios. And everything I'm going to tell you about in this video is completely free. I'm not selling anything and you don't have to pay to access the articles and data that is published in these real estate magazines for real estate professionals. I'll start with one of my favorites, Multifamily Executive. This is a free magazine published every two months with a target audience of apartment executives to provide them with current apartment and condo industry news, design ideas, apartment technology trends, current statistics, case studies, recent projects, and anything else relevant to developers, owners, or investors in multifamily real estate. Be aware this is definitely intended for large scale executives with massive portfolios and large development projects around the world, but I love learning from what they are doing. I find the articles to be well written and relevant, even if I can't always apply them directly. Surprisingly, I even like the advertisements for new products that I may not have heard of previously. If you are a landlord and love to read and learn about real estate, you will want to subscribe to Multifamily Executive, either online or the print version. I'm sure it will quickly become one of your favorite real estate investing periodicals. A very close second to Multifamily Executive is Wealth Management Real Estate, which was formerly the National Real Estate Investor. This is also available in print and digital versions, and it is another periodical I really enjoy reading. This magazine is also completely free to qualified readers, and it has articles, data, and economic information on all of the various commercial real estate categories, including retail, hospitality, self-storage, senior housing, student housing, industrial, data centers, office, medical office, single family, and multifamily residential. The content includes returns generated by each asset class, REITs, opinions, and headwinds an asset class may be facing, and just about anything else related to acquiring, owning, managing, or selling real estate. The magazine has recently expanded its content and audience to include financial advisors, accountants, estate planners, and others who are ancillary providers and advisors to real estate professionals and investors. Again, most of the content is intended for larger projects, groups, and investors, but the principles, ideas, guidance, and economics that is important to this audience still applies to us as smaller property owners and managers, so I think you'll really enjoy subscribing to Wealth Management Real Estate as well. The Journal of Property Management, which is published by the Institute of Real Estate Management, is another incredible free magazine which dives into all issues relating to property management, and these bigger ideas can definitely give you some inspiration on how to better manage your properties. This magazine is published every two months and is really well done in my opinion. The Institute of Real Estate Management also has a blog, white papers, and you can also subscribe to their weekly news email if you like their perspective. Although this one isn't a magazine, you might consider checking the Property Manager Insider blog. It has a wide variety of pretty good articles written about very specific property manager topics, which you may find interesting, so it is at least worth checking it out. When you need or want some single family construction ideas and hear from the people who build single family homes on a large scale, Builder Magazine is the one for you. This magazine discusses design, trends, sustainability, labor, new products, project management, land acquisition, data analysis, economics, and other things you may not have even known were things that builders cared about. Again, this is intended for the large builders and executives, but you can apply the trends and information to your renovations or new builds. Each issue also includes floor plans and elevations of homes or townhomes, which you can also purchase if you like the full details. But I like to just look at the ideas and layouts myself. Although it might sound crazy, I like the ads too. This is where manufacturers advertise their new products to builders, and I love to see the new things coming out or items I didn't even know existed. 
On the macro investment level, REIT Magazine by NARIT is a great publication. This magazine focuses on all things relevant to REIT investing. They publish incredible data, returns, and in-depth articles all related to REIT investing, both public and private REITs. But the majority of the content is focused on public REITs. Again, this is just another facet of real estate investing, and I find it helpful to understand how investment managers and operators of large REITs manage their business, including what they are working on and what matters to them. I also think REITs are a great way to diversify my personal real estate investments, so I enjoy reading what is affecting the industry. This is another free publication, so feel free to look through it online and see what you think. The next magazine is only available in a few cities and it is only online now, but I think it is also worth checking out. It is focused on real estate agent related information and is published specifically in Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Houston, Phoenix, Seattle, and South Florida. For Chicago, the website is chicagoagentmagazine.com and the same for the other cities, or if you go to one city, there's a pull down for the other cities. I am a real estate broker, so I find these articles and industry announcements to be relevant to me, but I think other investors might also be interested as well since some of the content is purely real estate and not solely about agents as agents need to be aware of the market and trends too. The next three magazines are realtor association focused magazines, but you may find them relevant. So I thought I'd mention them. The National Association of Realtors has a magazine it publishes every two months. The Illinois Realtor Magazine is the published quarterly and the Chicago Realtor Magazine is published monthly. I'm not sure if every state and major city has their own Realtor Magazine, but if you're interested, a quick Google search will let you know if there is one. These magazines are automatically sent to you if you're a realtor, but even if you're not a realtor, you can access the magazine for free on the appropriate realtor websites. You may also like the real estate magazine published by RIS Media. It is the only national independent magazine focusing on residential real estate and relocation industries, and it includes coverage of business development, coaching, and technology. The intended audience here is real estate brokers and broker managers, but it still provides some great real estate insight, opinions, and articles that you may find interesting and beneficial. For all of the general contractors, rehabbers, and flippers, you can keep up to date on what's happening in the construction world with Constructor Magazine and Building Design and Construction Magazine. Both are free and clearly focused on the construction side of the business. If you are invested in or interested in Section 8 or other affordable housing programs, you may want to subscribe to Affordable Housing Finance or AHF. I'm not active in this space, so I do not subscribe to this magazine, but it is a sister publication of Multifamily Executive and Builder Magazine, which I do subscribe to, so I thought I'd mention it for anyone that might find it of interest to them. Even as an experienced real estate and construction professional, I find these magazines to be informative and interesting to read. Obviously, not every article is something I'm going to dive into, but I can normally find a couple articles or interesting facts in every one of these magazines, which makes it well worth it for me to keep coming back for each issue. There are, of course, a bunch of other books and magazines you can buy, but you might as well take advantage of some of these really great free publications to learn and stay informed, as these magazines are always publishing articles on current topics and trends affecting the industry. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you know of any other free real estate, construction, or landlord magazines, please share them in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please like and share it with someone else who might enjoy seeing it. Thank you for watching Kenton Knows, and I wish you the best of luck with all of your real estate investments.